7 things that could save your life one day. The best way to create panic is to ask everyone to stay calm. Therefore, we will not ask you to do that, but simply tell you how to survive in situations in which 80% of other people may die. You are in a sinking car. Do not try to open the car door. Even if you succeed, the flow of water under pressure will force you further back in the car. Drop the window and try to get out through it. Can't get out through the window? Wait until the car sinks into the water, then open the door or window slightly so the water slowly fills the car. After the inside of the car is almost completely filled with water, open the door, swim out of the car, and float or swim to the surface. You are in a falling elevator. Do not jump or do not try to get through the upper hatch. Lie down on the floor of the elevator on your back or stomach and relax your muscles as much as possible. Protect your head and face with your hands or wrap them with soft materials or clothing. And remember, modern elevators are safe. Therefore, there is no need to wear diapers, bring a supply of drinking water, or take a flashlight before getting in an elevator. You are caught in a lightning storm. The idea that lightning cannot strike twice in the same place is a myth. Do not stand in a place where lightning has already struck. It could strike there a few more times, although you would not care anymore after the first hit. Do not try to hide from lightning under tall trees and do not open an umbrella with a metal tip. Also do not ride a bike or a motorcycle. But really all you need to survive in a field during a lightning storm is a friend nearby who is taller than you. You need a supply of water, but there is nothing to carry it in. Take a regular condom and put it inside a sock. Fill it with water and tie the opening closed. Now you have half a liter of water in case of an emergency. You are freezing. Stuck out in the cold without outerwear? Collect the leaves and grass and put them under your clothes. This layer will help retain heat and save you from hypothermia. You got lost. To determine the direction of travel, make a homemade compass. Take an ordinary sewing needle and rub one end of it on jeans or other thick fabric. Pick a leaf from a tree and put it on still water. Put the needle on top of the floating leaf, and the charged side, the one you rubbed, will point north. You are impaled by a sharp object. If the object is stuck in the wound, then do not pull it out as this can cause damage to internal organs and heavy bleeding. Now you will be confident and calm in critical situations. Although if you are calm and everyone around you is running around in panic and screaming, maybe you misunderstood something. What tips for surviving in critical situations do you have? Please let us know in the comments. Subscribe to our channel, like, and we will have more videos coming soon.